Hello, everyone. This is Crystal Cockerham, and this is Ask Crystal. Um, and welcome to today's show. I really am looking forward to seeing who calls in today. Um, let me get over so that I can post the call in information. I love the I love the the calling in um, and all that yummy stuff with everyone. Sorry, today is a little bit of a discombobulated day, but we're going for it. So I am Crystal Cockerham, your host today. My business is Wisdom Awakens, and I'm happy to be here to help you with your transformational needs. Any questions, any struggles that you are working through, this is your space to call in or comment, and I can address those and help offer you some guidance and support. So today is July 16th. Mercury is direct and um, things are starting to move along. A lot of my clients, um, a couple of them are still feeling um, some of the, the struggles um, from the last eclipse, so to speak, um, and Mercury retrograde. Uh, but most people are coming out of it now. So if it's kind of lingering and sticking out for you, um, just know that that shift is coming. So there's a lot happening in the world right now. And I just want to hop over and make sure that I'm not missing any comments. And um, a lot of people from the last eclipse cycle and through all that we have experienced this year have really been coming into um, their gifts and acknowledging and working with claiming those gifts. So what happens when all of a sudden you're feeling all the feels and you don't realize you're feeling all the feels? Like, how do you know you're feeling all the feels? What do you do when a wave of anxiety, unsurety, um, an exacerbated emotion suddenly overcomes you? A great tool that you can utilize for situations like that is discernment. Hi, Preemi from South Africa. Thank you for joining. Let me know if you have any questions um, that you would like some support or guidance on. And you are welcome to phone in if um, you, you would like to um, speak. So discernment is a very powerful tool. And yes, it's not, I know it's not something that you can actually tangibly pick up and wield like, you know, a hammer or a wrench or a pen. Um, but it's really allowing yourself to just take a breath and go within and ask yourself, is this mine? And if you're, if you know that it isn't yours, release it and ask your guides to help you clear it. If you're not sure, um, ask your guides to help you clear it anyhow and to give you more information if it's something you need to know in the moment so that they can, they can help, you know, send you uh, further clarity on that. Um, if it's for you and if it's yours. And if it is something that suddenly you have overcome with, whether it's yours or not, just remember you always have the power of your breath to, um, to tap into and be able to recenter 
yourself. So um, when you do that and you are tapping into you know, your breath to recenter and ground, a very powerful way of doing that is knowing that you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you do that, that simple flow helps your brain like reconnect. It's kind of like um, if you ever watch the Waltons on television and the old um, switchboards where they plug in, it's kind of like clearing, clearing the board. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're bringing your breath all the way down into your pelvic area and trying actually not to breathe into your lungs. Because when you breathe into your lungs and you're already feeling anxious, it really um, helps keep you there. So when you're trying to ground or center, you really want to um, bring your breath all the way down. Um, and if you're sitting, Try not to have your legs or your ankles or your feet crossed. Try not to have like your, your, your hands crossed, right? Like you can put one hand on your chest over your heart and one over like just below your belly button and breathe in and, and really focus on just having that bottom hand rise, not the one on your chest. So let's, let's do this together if you can safely do so. And you can do that one or two or three or four or five times and just being mindful of the clearing. And as you do so, it physically relaxes your body. So you'll notice where you're holding tension and it just automatically just helps you soften and melt. Um, so your breath alone is a very powerful tool. And I would absolutely recommend that you tap into your breath and then do the discernment piece. Because if you're clearing it with your breath, likely, not always, but likely it's not yours. Um, Premi says, wow, very inspiring. It really is. A lot of people are waking up and rapidly expanding. And so it's very powerful to know um, and, and be able to practice simple, powerful tools to help keep you on track. You're not going crazy. You're not losing it. You're just waking up and stepping into that expanded energetic version of yourself. And as you embody it, it's very, very important to utilize things such as your breath um, to help you ground and center. Nature is another beautiful one. I always talk about and encourage people to connect with nature because all on its own, it's very healing and it's very balancing. So if you can uh, safely do so, stand barefoot in the grass or in the dirt or on the beach. Go for a walk. Um, if, if, and if those aren't accessible to you, maybe the weather is really, really terrible outside. If you have house plants, stick your hands in the dirt of the potted plant. That helps you too. So um, truly, truly very, very powerful, easy things that you readily have available. And keeping track of everything so that you can go back um, it, in a journal is very powerful. That way you can really learn what your spirit speak is. And um, spirit speak is something that um, I refer to as, you know, how your guides and how your intuitive information comes through for you. And it's authentic and, and different for each individual. 
whether you have three people in a room and all of them are clear audience and clairvoyant and highly empathic, the way that they interpret their messages, the way that the messages come through can differ for each of those three people. So, you know, a, a phrase that I've, I've coined over the last couple of years is spirit speak and knowing your spirit speak. And that is something that I work on with my clients all the time because our intuitive sense is very primal, it's very innate. We are all born with it. And it is, it is the conditioning of society and our upbringing that takes us out of it and teaches us to not trust it or to think that we don't have it. And, and I truly believe that every person on the planet is intuitive. Every person on the planet knows how to tune in. They have just forgotten. So I really help people remember um, and some of the intuitive ways that messages come through that are really popular are in your dreams. Sometimes and most oftentimes um, that time. Hi, Jessica. Thank you. It is happy Ask Crystal Day. I, I, um, the time flies. I have so much fun doing this. The time flies and I couldn't believe that it was time for an Ask Crystal Day already. <laughs> so um, so now I lost my train of thought. Um, so really when I'm working with people, it's really helping them remember that it's there and breaking down those barriers, the layer of armor, the, the woundings, the conditioning that um, has made them feel disconnected from their intuitive sense. So messages come to you in your dream time. They come to you in that in-between time from your when you're waking up to when you are awake, right? There's that time where it's like, nope, I'm conscious that I'm kind of sleeping, but not. And, you know, information comes in, right? Um, for me, Oftentimes information comes in when I'm in the shower or in the bath because I'm, I'm engaging in an action that is complete muscle memory and routine and I don't have to think about what I'm doing. Um, and so, you know, I will get a lot of intuitive messages um, during that time too. Um, you're sorry you bring the squirrels. You don't bring the squirrels, Jessica. I love the squirrels. I love squirrels and unicorns. <laughs> um, and so, you know, other, other ways that messages come through is um, a lot of people will use means of divining in order to help them um, connect and get messages. So oracle cards, tarot cards, um, crystals are really, really powerful. Um, pendulums, runes, uh, reading tea leaves, that is really fun. Uh, psychometry, really feeling into the energy of objects. Uh, and and so oftentimes, if you're an avid journaler, if you allow yourself to do some intuitive journaling, that is um, really akin to uh, free writing, uh, meaning you just start writing and then you're just not thinking and your pen just keeps moving. And um, of course, when you're journaling, um, grammar, English, spelling, all of that is out the window because you know, you're not being graded, it's for your purposes. And uh, so intuitive journaling is really great. And intuitive journals are fantastic to keep. Um, and I really like the idea and it, it's very convenient to have something like a five subject notebook with the spiral edge. So um, if you are a person who dreams a lot and remembers your dreams, because we all dream, not everyone remembers, 
them, then have that section towards the front of your journal so that when you wake up, it's just easily accessible, you know, get some, get some paper clips so that you can just like fold the page clip. And so it's always ready for that next, for that next entry. Um, if you really do a lot of dreaming, then you might want to have a separate journal specifically for recording your dreams. Um, if you hear or see, or if your spirit guides speak to you through music, um, numbers, symbols, then you'll want to have a section for each one of those too. And so the whole idea when you're learning your spirit speak and learning to control and tap into uh, this gift and this knowing is to go back and review, okay, this was the dream I had. How has this shown up or presented itself for me or for someone else in my life? Um, and you want to do the same, you know, like with your Oracle cards, maybe you choose a card a day and that's how you get to know the Oracle cards. That's how you're training yourself to commune with your higher self and with your spirit guides. Um, so really going back and this was the question I asked and the question can be, what do I do about this thing at work? Or what am I not seeing about this situation? Or what is, what is the guidance in my highest and greatest good today? So what's key is going back to it at the end of the day and seeing how that has shown up for you. And know that sometimes it isn't always in that same exact day. Sometimes, sometimes it's three days later, a week later, a month later, and so forth. So knowing that, I'd really love to know if anyone has any questions or, um, or you want to know more about this, uh, because all of this relates to discernment. And that really is the key topic for today. So whether it's your empathic or highly sensitive nature and suddenly you're feeling something, blessing and ascension crystal, thank you. Uh, is it Nagi or Nagi or Nagi, Nagi? Um, that is a really fun name. Nagi and Nico. It's very flowing. It, it has like a musical tone to it for me. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Um, so discernment really is, you know, if, if all of a sudden you're feeling the feels, you go within and discernment. And that's when your intuitive wisdom and your intuitive nature and your intuitive senses help you in harnessing and wielding and really becoming one with that tool um, and knowing that it, it's yours. Ini, ini. Thank you for that. I hope I still, I, I hope I pronounced that right but welcome. So we're talking about discernment and really um, suddenly awakening to your gifts and, um, and the intuitive senses and how you can begin harnessing and controlling them so that they are more accessibly um, available to you and you have um, more uh, faith and experience, like they're more readily available to you, right? Not just when, when you feel like tapping into them or when they feel like showing up, but it's really, oh, this something is off here and going within, okay, what is it? Is it me? Is it mine? That sort of thing. So yes, discernment is huge. It can save you a lot of anxiety. Uh, you are from uh, Hungary. Are you from Hungary? Hungarian. Um, so welcome. Yay. Um, and so, yeah, discernment is huge and um, really big and really key. So really you can expand 
and open up to more and more and more. So the more that you exercise this and make this a habit, which I like to refer to as a daily practice, um, also known as a spiritual practice, then more of the senses um, will open up to you as well. So uh, it's very, very powerful, powerful stuff. So uh, Jessica, do you have anything that you would like to add or any question or something else you, you would like me to touch on around that? Um, that would be um, beautiful. So, um, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. What is your favorite day of the week? Do you like the beginning of the week? Do you like the middle of the week? Do you like the ending of the week? How do you ramp up and how do you wind down? Um, I am super curious about this. Uh, for me, I like the middle and the end of the week uh, because the beginning of the week, it just feels like um, more times than not, it, it's more like a, a frenetic energy for me. Uh, it's more of getting back into the flow of the week and setting myself up. So I find myself in more task oriented versus more creation oriented in the um, at the beginning of the week. Um, love your insights on intuition. Thank you, Jess. And so uh, another way of discerning and following, you know, your cycle and your rhythm, the reason why I asked that about the, the day of the week is because when you're in more, um, When you're in more of a tasky mode, it's more of your inner masculine energy, right? You want to do, 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 do. And when you feel like you're more uh, focused and in a creative mode, uh, then that's more of your feminine energy. And, and again, that's another piece of discernment. So tomorrow, Sabrina Percario, a Hollywood producer and music from singer songwriter Kevin Kylie will be on the breakthrough show tomorrow. Yay! How exciting! I know we have had some amazing guests over the last, um, well, since we began. And uh, this season, I think the breakthrough show and the, the breakthrough network has really gotten out there. And we are attracting some even, even more and more phenomenal people. And what I mean by that is more people who are phenomenal. So um, that is really exciting. And on Mondays, Jessica does her joy podcast, which is always fun um, and, and really enjoyable and exciting. And then this upcoming Monday, the fourth Monday, is it the fourth Monday or is it the, mm, I'd have to look at a calendar. Shiraz is, does his show, um, which is really neat. I don't know if you're tuning in to all the extra breakthroughs. Three, nope, it'll be a week from Monday for Shiraz. Um, but they're really amazing. And uh, we also have a Patreon for our After the Breakthrough community where lots of really cool stuff happen in there. So, um, just if you want to put the, the Patreon link in there, that would be phenomenal. Tomorrow makes 90 guests since 2018. That is amazing. Yes. Um, it, it, it's really phenomenal. So um, I am just looking here to see if any more questions come up around discernment. I'd really like to challenge you to really sit with discernment and how you can utilize it as a tool to help you further on your path. So I will be back for another Ask Crystal on the third Thursday of August, um, again, at 11 a.m. Eastern. I'd love for you to join me. 
and we do have the call in information that we post the day before and I always put the link in at the beginning of the show. So if you would like some spotlight guidance, um, that is your time. It's anonymous. Your, your face doesn't show up on the screen and um, you know we can hide your phone number and all of that good stuff so that we can talk in real time. So that is really, really beautiful. Um, what is going on in the world of Crystal and Wisdom Awakens? I really invite you to hop on over if you don't already to like and follow uh, me and my business on my Wisdom Awakens page. And if you relate to yourself as being uh, an awakened woman, on your path to furthering your spiritual growth and development, I facilitate a free private Facebook group um, called Feminine Wisdom Keepers that I invite you to request to join. There's three tiny little questions that take about 40 seconds to answer. Um, and so you are, uh, I would love to have you and welcome you there where we have all kinds of wonderful conversations and I do a free training at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern every Tuesday in that group. And um, <clears throat> ever so often, I also run a five days to ignite your intuition and transform your life free event. So um, I'd love to have you there. I uh, also have some incredible news that is super exciting um, for me and is another business milestone. I am going to be hosting a retreat with um, a partner. Her name is Mary Pat Lynch at Mount Shasta from September 20th to September 26th called Awaken, Align, and Activate Your Divine Sovereignty. So we will be making several excursions on sacred land and doing ceremony and talking about the divine feminine, expanding your um, intuitive abilities even more. And I am super excited to share that. So when the live is finished, I will plop that link in the comments. Um, and this is actually the first public announcement um, of making it. So i uh, love to have you join if that is something that calls to you. And I will see you next month on Ask Crystal. It is, Jessica, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes, Mount Shasta, Kim. <laughs> Go Mount Shasta. <laughs> Mount Shasta is... Um, an ancient volcano that is no longer active and actually takes its name from the Native Americans um, who are indigenous to that area. And um, they still actually hold ceremony and there are a lot of sacred sites on Mount Shasta, beautiful waterfalls, lava tunnels, all kinds of great stuff that I am so excited about, yes. Yes, you did hear it here first. <laughs> All right. So that wraps us up today. Um, tune in tomorrow for the breakthrough show guests. Um, oh, no. Just the comments have um, disappeared on me. Um, tune in tomorrow. The guests our Hollywood producer and singer songwriter, and I don't recall their names, uh, for tomorrow here on The Breakthrough Show. Have a fantastic day and a great rest of your week, everyone. Bye for now.